While you won't catch Canada's health minister at one of these anytime soon, the surge of pot dispensaries opening up in Vancouver has city officials proposing new regulations. But Rana Ambrose says that is not enough. She's calling on the mayor of Vancouver to shut them down. Yesterday, Ambrose called the storefronts illegal in a letter that she wrote to Gregor Robertson. And today at a news conference, she was asked what he should do about the issue. My appeal to the mayor is to think twice about this and to vote this resolution down on Tuesday and instead close down these dispensaries. Uh, if people want access, there is a program through Health Canada. It's, it's very rigorous, it's highly regulated, um, and it has all of the mechanisms and safe in place to make sure that it's done in a way that balances public safety and public health. And Myung Lee is here on this story for us. Myung? Well, Ian, the reason why the city wants to get into the regulation business when it comes to selling pot in their city is because they've had an unprecedented spike in the number of pot dispensaries setting up shop. They see a 100% growth rate a year, and just in the last four months, 20 new pot dispensaries have opened in the city, and that brings the total in just Vancouver alone to 80 medical marijuana dispensaries. So. Up until now, it's been a bit of a free-for-all, wild, wild west in terms of regulation. And so the city wants to create a separate business licensing category for these shops because they want to use their enforcement tools, create bylaws in order to decide to determine who gets to set up shop and where, because right now they simply don't have any jurisdiction in the sale of pot in their city. Now, in that letter that you mentioned that Rona Ambrose sent to Gregor Robertson, she went on to say that if they regulate pot stores in Vancouver, she says Vancouver will be legitimizing them. And not only that, Ian, she says that there will be uh, increased usage because of Vancouver's actions. And even, she says, more addicts. Because the underlying question a lot of people have is how much of the pot that's being dispensed there is really under prescription and how many is under the table how much is under the table right um, how's Vancouver responding to what Ron Ambrose is saying well Gregor Robertson spoke on this today and he says the situation they're in is because of the federal government because of the climate that they've created with these medical marijuana dispensaries and he says because they're already well into 80 stores they need to regulate uh, and he says it's because of the federal government's inaction that he has to move on this have a listen well, the city's approach right now is, uh, is a common sense one to deal with regulating the proliferation of so many. We have over 80 of these dispensaries and they exist because of the federal landscape and the, the, the actions taken or not taken by the federal government. So access to med medical marijuana is a real issue. Uh, as a city, we just can't let these shops be everywhere all over town. And certainly we don't want them close to schools. We don't want access for kids to be as easy as it has been. And on that, Mayor Gregor Robertson went on to say that these regulations will actually go to Rona Ambrose's concerns. They will create a barrier in how far away these shops can set up besides schools or community centres. And they're actually calling for a $30,000 licensing fee, which they say will limit in the people, the type of people that will be setting up shop. And then this way, they'll be able to really control what, who's selling to who and where they can do it. Thanks, Mia. You're welcome.